I don't become a teacher, oh, I just love it. You can impart so much on them, but actually it's their smile and their laugh every day when you come into work. No day is ever the same. I like their enthusiasm. I love when they, you know, when they get something. As a student, going back to my old primary school, I think I had a teacher who inspired me. I felt I just, I wanted to give something back. I love my job and I love seeing their smiles and their, their laughter and their fun that they bring to the classroom. Put me in front of a group of kids doing something with a product like Sphero and then that's when I'm at my happiest I guess. Basically in, in 2014 in the UK the curriculum um, changed in the sense that we were told we had to teach computer science. A lot of the stuff that was published at the time was quite dry and a lot of teachers were looking for devices such as Spheros or, or Parrot drones or, or some sort of robotics that you could code um, and teach the basics and fundamentals of code with. Spheros fitted the bill perfectly. We want our children to learn new skills and to be able to adapt to change. We feel that the language of computers is really important to understand and have a basic understanding of. So if I'm going to go out to buy something, I need to ask the question, what kind of impact will it have on children across the school of all ages, not just for our older children or not just for our youngest children? Sphero allowed that. When we first introduced Sphero into our curriculum, I was very tight and trying to police it and saying, right, these are your series of lessons and you've got to work through these lessons. And it was really fascinating to see the first time a teacher came to me and said, oh, I'm going to use this in my uh, literacy lesson. We're going to be reading Harry Potter and I'm going to do a, a mapping lesson using the spherules. They had obviously seen the potential in this moving ball and thought, well, actually, I could use that as a hook into a lesson I'm already teaching. I think for us, technology has been an enhancing tool. It allows you to do it in a more creative way and build on life skills as well as the academic skills that they need. I think Sphero is, is a fairly large part of the computing curriculum. I think moving away from having a ceiling height on things and saying, well actually, let's give them a go. I love the engagement that it brings with the children. I love the ease at which the children can pick it up and see the results so quickly. This is something that all children of all ages can really get to grips with, whether it's from the basics of drawing and driving or um, really kind of getting to grips with the programming side of it and making it do things and achieve an end goal. I find my top end children that are very bright, especially in the mathematical world, they're applying concepts we haven't ha actually taught them yet. So they're trying to absorb and problem solve things we've not done. And that's always good because you're, you're trying to stretch your, your, your able mathematicians as far as you possibly can. My bottom end children, the ones that are maybe less able, they're going through a real trial and error process with no consequence. So if the robot falls off the table, it doesn't matter because a sphere is actually a very robust, robust tool. Then they're going back to why questions, why did that happen? Even if they can't generate the questions themselves, a more able partner can and then they'll try and implement that. The idea of computational thinking and logic, we feel that adds to the cognitive development of the children in a way that other subjects don't. Right, you have multiple apps open, so one child could be the one who reads the code, who thinks about, who decomposes the problem and then talks it out, discusses it, and then the other one might be inputting the data. It's not just the creative ones that do well, it's the other children as well who see things concretely. For me, it's about saying, here we are, this is a technology, this is a skill, and this is the end goal of that skill. And this is what you can achieve with this skill. And this is what you can do using what you're good at. Really, that opportunity exists itself within Sphero. The idea that one person can go off and create their own thing, someone else could do their own thing, and then bring it back into a group environment and work in a collaborative way that is completely gender neutral and all other stereotypes as well.